Hey all, it's Jen from Holo Solutions. Hey, I want to share with you today about the gift of prophecy. This is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we find in 1 Corinthians 12. I want to share with you uh, a great thing, a great movie that you can watch that portrays this gift so well. I just got out of church and our church has a series every year, usually four weeks, called Director's Cut. That's where our pastor chooses uh, some of his favorite videos from the, the past year or the past two years that he feels like the Lord has spoken to him and given uh, biblical truth you know, to share with the congregation through these movies. And one of the movies that he chose this year was American Underdog, and this is the story of Kurt Warner. Now, the Lord told, you know, showed him some truths uh, that he shared with our congregation today and they were great. Uh, the movie talks about a wilderness period. It talks about God putting, planting a seed of, of a dream inside of us, uh, you know, calling us to a, a certain destiny uh, that he wants to see fulfilled in us. And, and that's true for all of us that follow the Lord. You know, God has plans for us. You know, we know that verse in Jeremiah, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And so there are plans for us. We don't just go through life you know, wandering around with, with nothing really to, to do. God has a plan for me and for you, and he had a plan for Kurt Warner. And I'm sure Kurt Warner's story is not over yet, but this movie portrayed what we know of Kurt Warner as his time with the St. Louis Rams and being a, a uh, world champion, you know, Super Bowl winner with the St. Louis Rams. Um, it's a great movie. What I pulled out of the movie was how great it portrayed the gift of prophecy. 1 Corinthians 12 lists a bunch of gifts that the Holy Spirit gives to us when we believe and we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And one of those is the gift of prophecy. Now, a lot of people are kind of scared of the word prophecy. You know, it sounds mystical and weird. And I mean, I never heard of it growing up in my church, uh, even though I took, I probably took a hundred gifts, you know, spiritual inventory gifts. Um, and I always scored hor highest in prophecy. It was always my number one gift, but no one ever taught me about it. No one ever said a word about it. I would say, oh, I got prophecy again. And it was like, mm, you know, <laughs> no one said a word. And so I never knew what it was. And I have to say, you know, the Bible tells us what it is. It is it is a way that the Holy Spirit works through us to give someone else encouragement, edification, and exhortation. Okay, and it, so it's really not this weird mystical thing. Um, what I find is that, you know, probably all of us have operated in the gift of prophecy and didn't even know it. Um, you know, encouragement is, is pretty easy. That's where we say things to people that encourages them that helps them that 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 uh that you know it helps them you know if they're feeling stuck you know if someone's stuck sometimes we don't even know if someone's stuck and we say something encouraging to them edification that's building up to build up and so we edify each other you know through saying encouraging things by pointing out our strengths uh, that we see in each other and then exhortation that's a that's a uh, very encouraging um, statement that we make to each other. Like, hey, you need to get on this. Hey, you need to do this. Hey, you know, um, God has this plan for you and, and you need to, you know, and go to him and ask what he wants you to do next. Like anything that kind of gets people moving, okay? Because a lot of times all of us, you know, probably at one time or another have felt stuck and we needed someone to just say something to us that seems to just be the right thing and it helps us move forward. We've probably done that a million times and didn't even realize that we were operating in the gift of prophecy. And that's what I loved about the movie American Underdog. It's a story of Court, Kurt Warner where even as a child he had a dream of being, you know, like Joe Montana and being a, uh, a Super Bowl champion quarterback. Um, we know, and Kurt knew, that the chances of that happening were really slim. I mean, who doesn't want to, you know, what what football player wouldn't want that to be true, right? To What football player wouldn't want to be a Super Bowl champion? So he knew that the chances were slim that that would actually come true, but he just felt in himself that that this was something that was supposed to be there for him, even though it seemed impossible. 
And what we see is Kurt go through, you know, that whole time up leading up to his time with the St. Louis Rams um, and how many people in his life operated in the gift of prophecy to encourage him and get him to where he needed to be. I'm sure that, you know, in all the interviews that Kurt has had, that he's named many people in his life that have encouraged him and helped him. And I'm sure almost all those people, uh, or all of them, didn't even know that they were operating in the gift of prophecy, okay? Um, God was speaking through them to help Kurt be encouraged and edified and to move forward. Um, we see the love story between him and Brenda, his wife, and how she encouraged him. She encouraged him to follow his dream that, you know, if this is something that God had put in him, that, that he has to follow it. That was an exhortation. She said, you have to go after this. If this is something that, you know, God has put in you, you have to pursue it. You have to go over it. That's exhortation. And Brenda did that even though she was fearful and, and she didn't say it, but we could see, you know, in her, you know, in her disposition that, that she was afraid of this dream that it might actually take him away from her. Um, but out of love for him, she kept steering him towards the dream. And, you know, and part of it was, was God going to be faithful to see it through? And so there was fear on Kurt's part, you know, is this just a crazy dream that I'm having in my head? Or is this something that God has for me? And will God be faithful? Um, one thing we can be sure is that God will always be faithful to uphold his end. But it takes us to uh, be faithful on our end for things to be seen through. And so that's where the gift of prophecy comes in. It's meant to encourage, edify, and exhort each other on into our destinies with God. Okay, so you've probably operated in this a million times. If you're a follower of Jesus, you've probably encouraged people many times. You've probably edified people many times. You've probably exhorted people many times. People have probably done it to you. You can probably think of some people in your life who have done that for you to help you move along in your destiny with the Lord. And so, you know, we see this all the time. So people who have, you know, I believe that all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit just gives those as they're needed in a moment, okay? So we call these Kairos moments. You know, God has these moments where he orchestrates the right people at the right time. And I believe the Holy Spirit uh, gives those gifts in those times uh, to any of us, as long as we're willing, as long as we're open vessels, that we get those gifts anytime. It's true that some people seem to be more heavily gifted in healing, uh, more heavily gifted in prophecy. They might be, you know, really prophetic people, but really all of God's people, all of God's children can be prophetic. It's, you know, the Bible says all those who are led by the Spirit are sons of God. Being a son of God has a sense of responsibility and authority in it. You know, it's different from being a child of God. All those who claim Jesus as Lord are children of God, but we are to mature into sons and be led by the Holy Spirit. It says all those led by the Spirit are sons of God. And so there is a responsibility on us at that point to walk in the gifts of the Holy Spirit and just be open for them. You might be with someone and they need healing. They, they mention to you that they're having some kind of problem um, that needs some kind of physical healing. And God just puts it on you. Holy Spirit just puts it on you to go ahead and pray healing over this person right here and now. And you do. And a lot of times, you know, God comes through, you know, the, the healing comes through. And so don't feel like, oh, I'm not gifted in that area or, you know, I've never done that before. You probably have. You just didn't know it. Okay. So be a willing vessel. Be open to these things. We see one part of the movie where Kurt's wa uh, working in a grocery store stocking shelves. He had just been let go by the Green Bay Packers. So he's feeling very defeated, but knew he needed to work and do something. So he's working at a grocery store. And uh, his coworker sees him looking at a 
box of Wheaties, you know, with a football player on it. And the friend says, you'd like to be on that box one of these days, wouldn't you? And, and Kurt says, yeah, you know, I'd like to. And the guy says, you need to get on that. He just said it really matter-of-factly. That is an exhortation. You need to get on that. You know, I mean, how, you know, there are things that are are seemingly out of reach, but it's like God puts in us, you know, a, a real serious sense about someone where it's like, no, I believe you can do it. This might not be for everyone, but for you, yeah, you need to get on that. And so that guy at work just told him to get on it. Coach Vermeil, many of you, um, you know, who follow football know his story that he was in coaching and then left for 14 years and then came back and he had called Kurt to talk with him and he asked Kurt how long he'd been in the wilderness and and, uh, you know, if you follow the Lord and you're wanting to, you know, follow in the footsteps of Jesus, we all go through a wilderness time. And uh, and so Coach Vermeil shares with Kurt his wilderness time and how there's opposition and, and tribulations. And we follow the Lord anyways. Jesus had opposition and tribulation and he obeyed the Lord anyways and fulfilled his destiny. And it's the same for us. And so Coach Vermeule says, and here's the prophetic moment. He says, there's something about you. There's something about you. And I'm willing to go the distance with you if you're willing. And he puts his hand out, you know, to shake Kurt's hand. And, and Kurt realized, this is it. This is that Kairos moment. This is the opportunity. This is that door that I'm supposed to walk through. And he, and he takes the coach's hand and shakes it and uh, knows that, okay, this is what I've been waiting for for so long. And Coach Vermeil prophetically said, there's something about you. If this is going to happen, it's going to be with you. And so it was really a door for both of them to walk through, but they had to walk through it together. And the Lord put that prophetic sense into the coach to say those words, to exhort Kurt to walk through the door with him. And Kurt accepted and because Kurt could feel from the Lord, this is it. Anytime you get a, a word of prophecy to someone, sometimes we feel like we're just talking to someone. We're just encouraging them. But there are times where God puts something on you about someone and when you speak it to them, when you're obedient and you deliver the word, there's an anointing on it. There's power behind it. And the person that's receiving what you're telling them, they sense it in their soul, in their spirit. Like they know there's some heaviness to the words you're speaking to them. Like this is different from someone else just saying something nice to me. This has weight. Sometimes you might not even know it, but sometimes you do. There have been times where I have just looked at someone and felt a, a sudden love for them, just a deep love for them. And, you know, I'm able to discern that as God telling me how much they love that person. And I have gone up to those, those people when I get that sense and I tell them, I say, hey, just wanted you to know, Today, when I was watching you singing or preaching or, or whatever, the Lord just gave me this deep love for you. And it was, it was him telling me how much he loves you. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know what these people need in that moment. But usually they receive it and they're like, oh, thank you. That's just what I needed. Some people might be feeling defeated, forgotten by God, unheard. Some people might even be questioning their faith. And you might be the one person who delivers that thing that God put in you about them to keep them on track or to push them onto the track, onto the right track. They might be starting to veer and God might give you a word to bring them back and get them back on track. And so this is the gift of prophecy. It really is that simple. It's just edification, building up, encouragement, and exhortation. You need to do this. You need to get on that. Okay, I've had many people 
edify me and encourage me and and exhort me to get on it you need to do this okay and I need it I need people to use the gift of prophecy for me I need it I need it and if you've ever had someone encourage you you probably really needed it too so I just I want to encourage you to walk in the gift of prophecy when God puts something on you about someone else Go ahead and tell them about it. Now, the gift of prophecy will always lead someone closer to Jesus. The gift of prophecy does not cause us to cause shame or guilt or conviction on someone. The Holy Spirit convicts. That's his job. Okay, so our job with the gift of prophecy is not to nail someone, you know, in in some kind of sin. A good friend might be used for that. Book of Proverbs talks about a good friend sharing a a harsh truth, you know, that is uh, that is good to hear. Okay, so, you know, if you're a good friend and your friend is faltering, it's good for you to, you know, point out where they might be faltering and get them back on track with the Lord. But God won't use uh, the gift of prophecy to do that to someone. It's always going to be to encourage, edify, build up and Uh, exhort into the right path of God okay so we want to make sure we use the gift of prophecy properly okay it's always going to move people closer to God it's always going to make people excited to move in the direction of God okay and so we never want to to uh, use it to to harm people guilt or shame okay Um, but I want to encourage you that this gift is for you and that the Holy Spirit gives it to us freely in the moment when it's right, when it's a good thing. You've probably done it a million times and had no idea. And I just want to encourage you that you are working, you know, the and, and operating in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I just want to encourage you to continue doing that and call upon the Lord and just tell him that you are a willing, open vessel for any of his gifts all the time. All the gifts are going to fall in line with the fruit of the Spirit. And that would be love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All the gifts of the Holy Spirit will always fall within the parameters of the fruit of the Spirit. If you're ever giving, um, operating in a gift and it falls outside of those fruits, probably not from Holy Spirit and you need to you know hold hold back and sit with the Lord and uh, and figure that out but it's always going to fit within the fruit okay remember love love is the most powerful gift okay so it's always going to work in line with love okay so want to encourage you watch American Underdog it's a great it's a great movie anyways it's so good um Kurt Warner, what a, what a great guy, and uh, what a great movie that portrayed his story. And uh, I want to encourage you to watch it in, in the context of what the gift of prophecy looks like. There's so many people in that movie that encouraged, exhorted, and edified Kurt. And so I, that's what stood out to me, and I want you to see that so you can see just how normal <laughs> the gift of prophecy really is and that it's not this big, magical, mysterious mystical thing that it really is just you know us uh, speaking the heart of God into someone's life that'll help them stay on track or get back on track with God and their destiny that he has for them all right love you all I pray that you encourage someone today to get on track with Lord I pray that I got you encouraged today and edified you today with this word watch that movie American Underdog all right thanks so much